I would like to share a book review on book one entitled have you truly been born again of water and the spirit this is the book that I would recommend to every first reader in sought for a sinless life I would like to share how book one washed away all my sins Paul in the Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God and that the wages of sin is death during reading Reverend John's first book I believe that I was I, I was born again yet I had not yet met the gospel of the water and the spirit so I had seen in my heart in my case I understood the gospel through my husband Jerry and I was so shocked when that I had been preaching a half-baked gospel without any biblical understanding of God's righteousness that was manifested through the baptism of Jesus and his death at the cross. Jerry and I read book one together regularly, but at some point I paused because I found, I found it too heavy to, to digest. Before I could resume continuation of reading book one, I got hold of a book entitled Heretics Who Followed the Sin of Jeroboam, which broke down strong pillars of false faith in my life. You shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. It became the beginning of my freedom. I dearly loved that book and enjoyed reading it so much because it carried weighty biblical grounded facts. The second book which destroyed false religious bonds in my heart and gave me the freedom to biblical knowledge of salvation itself is the book, the, 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 the tabernacle book. I couldn't put it away. So these two books made me curious to know the full explanation of what the gospel of the water and the spirit entails, which I pursued its detail in book one. That is why I highly recommend this book to every first reader of Reverend Jong's books without any hesitation. Reading book one alone made me know God and why he sent his only begotten son Jesus Christ to the world. God in, his, in the richness of his mercy and wisdom opened my eyes to see my rotten sinful nature clearly in book one. I can only thank God for a difficult spiritual journey because it worked all for my good. First and foremost, I have never had the truth contained in this book, not even once, never, ever. This was the first time I came to know the truth to its bottom by reading book one. That's how I understood redemption. It sounded like a very strange book, yet it packed with the details of God's righteousness. It defeated my thoughts of thinking that Reverend Jong and my husband could be heretics trying to derail me from following God correctly. When I saw the righteousness of God clearly unfolding one by, by, by one during my following the contents of in, or, or, or in the book, I really thank God for Reverend Jong and my husband. For introducing me to this to the faith I learned that I should throw away my mistaken thoughts to believe in the God given gospel to believe in the Word of God as it is God's Word is holy and true it has been there from the beginning and it will forever be there hence I cannot change it to fit my mistaken false beliefs except to believe it as it is I decided to begin my spiritual journey afresh. So I threw away every spiritual material I had gathered from my old faith. This includes some ritual materials, books, and audio tapes. In the process, I realized in my heart that I couldn't keep my old friends either. Anyway, I was hungry to give up my old faith and its things. Everything that was connected to my old faith, I wanted to get rid of it. 
because it has not healed me from all sin nor perched my conscience, so it was useless for me. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 9 says, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. So I learned that the sin I inherited, I had to believe. I had to believe on the word of God as it is. I had to throw away my thoughts and embrace God's, God's ways the way it is. For instance, I learned that the sin I inherited from Adam is not this, the, the, the only sin God resolved, but all sin included my past, my past sins, present and future, future sins. This honestly blew off my mind. I strongly believed it because I suffered way too much over the daily confession of sin. I realized that this religious culture of daily confession and repentance I had practiced all my Christian life was nothing but a hypocrisy. It was an evil and insult to God's grace. It was a way of trampling upon the blood of Christ and treating it like a common thing. God opened my understanding and thanks to Reverend John's obedience to write these books for my redemption. The struggle of a heavy load of grief over sin I suffered all my religious life tormented me, ripped me off the peace, the, the, the peace from my life. It left me totally miserable beyond that I can put in words. Book one gave me the understanding to know my human nature to the core. I understand that I'm, I'm a fully blown lump of sin destined to hell fire forever separated from God. Not because I sin every day, no, but because I un, because of unbelief in God's written word. God has already completed his work of his work of salvation, but had been waiting for me to believe to be redeemed. The truth is that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and that the wages of sin is death. Hence, there, there is no other way for my sins to be remitted for apart from the gospel of the water and the spirit. I was supposed to have been judged for all my sins and died for them, but by the grace of God, it is not the will of God that men should perish, but that all may be saved. The truth that washed all my sins is that Jesus came into this world in the power of the Holy Spirit through the, the body of the Virgin Mary. As atonement was done in the Old Testament, Jesus couldn't blot out the sin of the world in any other way, but in the same manner as it was on the day of atonement in the Old Testament. So at 30, he shouldered all the sin of the world, including mine, when he was baptized by John the Baptist at the River Jordan. Like John, like Aaron, John transferred all the sins, the sins of the world onto Jesus. Jesus, who was born without sin, received judgment for the sin of the world. As at a set date, he did not only suffer the persecution, but he died on the cross to shed his innocent blood as a payment of the wages of sin he had already shouldered at his baptism. On the third day, he resurrected to save all those who believe in this complete work of salvation unto eternal life. Hallelujah. He gave them a gift of the Holy Spirit as a seal that they belong to Jehovah. Ooh, which God can do that? It's only Jehovah who, who has done it for us. I thank God for this redemption. I thank God for the, the baptism of Jesus, his death, and his resurrection. Otherwise, I, would, I wouldn't be here. I believe in this truth. I, and in fact, I believed in this truth with all my heart. And the peace of God filled my heart from then on. I am without sin. I, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. All that was written in the Old Testament pointed to Jesus. All scripture has a mate in the, both the testaments so that people do not err. So the book is written based on both testaments and agree as one. As I accumulated 
over 20 years of my what I accumulated over 20 years of my religious life. was nothing. I lived the so-called virtuous life by following the law and all these things amounted to nothing. Especially when my eyes, particularly when my eyes opened to see my real self. I knew myself. I knew myself through Reverend John's book one. I knew that I'm rotten and I cannot be righteous no matter how hard I try unless I believe in the gospel of the water and the spirit. I realized that I was born a wicked sinner who can be good no matter how hard I tried. There is no tr th th This is so true because no matter how virtuous I try to live in my past, the condemnation hit my heart endlessly. I was so in so much constant grief until i believed in the god-given gospel of the water and the spirit oh thanks thanks god to reverend john may the glory be be given back to god hallelujah and may the lord bless reverend john abundantly because you know why i'm saying this because if he had not written these books my husband would not have been able to to get hold of that book, I wouldn't be able to have access to the, the gospel of the water and the spirit to know myself for me and to understand that I should base my faith on the gospel. So to be honest, I tried to be virtuous. And the more I tried, the more hard it became and the more frustrating it was. It was just not possible. The thing is human beings are what God calls them. Yes, according to the, the book of Mark, chapter 7, verse 20 to 21. There is no short term to that. As it is impossible to please God without faith, the Holy Spirit can't bear witness to what stands against God's word of righteousness. This book has given me the authentic, authentic faith that leads, led me to stand before God unaccused by my conscience. I'm pure in my heart by the grace of God. Hallelujah. You know, another thing is that God in his wisdom separated my heart from my old my old friends and false preachers and he led me into his true church. I'm very happy and deep, right deep inside my heart. Now I share the true fellowship with the true sinless saints in God's church. I no longer preach a half-baked gospel. On the contrary, I share only the gospel of the water and the spirit. I'm happier and I would like to continue, especially myself, my husband, my, my children will continue sharing the gospel like we've been doing under the guidance of the church my sincere thanks to god for reverend shing who has been faithfully helping us patiently with the mission books and the spiritual guidance and establishment of the churches in zambia god bless him abundantly now uh, as i said my family and i are distributing a good number of books and sharing the true gospel in botswana in some, this is the miracle book. What what the miracle that book one performed in my in my heart? That's the surgery that the book one uh, performed in my heart. It made me the true instrument of redemption. All this happened not by might nor by power, but by the grace of God. And may the Lord bless His church. Thank you very much.